Hi everyone, this is Mary Ann and welcome to my channel for another video. And today I would just like to share with you the binder that I have decided to use for 2018. Now I came from this particular binder right here that I have been using since around May of 2017. And it is a Franklin Covey Compact with the 1.25 inch rings. And the rings are already very, very big, but I still managed to overstuff the entire thing. And um, this is how fat it has become. And I could transfer to my binder the pink one with 1.5 inch rings, but I didn't really want to... I, I, I didn't really want to, to use a very thick binder. I wanted... A change for 2018 because some parts of my life will be changing in 2018 so I tried to start downsizing. So I transferred to this binder it is the Kiki K medium with 13 millimeter rings now the 1.25 inch rings converts to about 32 millimeter rings so these 30 millimeter rings in the Kiki K is well reasonably smaller but I still ended up overstuffing the entire thing. I didn't even make new dividers for this Kiki K. I just simply used the entire thing that was in that Franklin Covey and then popped everything into this Kiki K. But I didn't really like the Kiki K because it does not have a secretarial pocket. And because of that wonky zipper in the front cover, I, I wasn't very happy with it. But it does look good and I like how it looks but I don't like how it works for me and at some point I got so sick and tired of having too too many things in my planners so I decided to go back to the basics with this Filofax Savannah with 23 millimeter rings now this is an older model that is no longer available this is one that came to me from Janet Carr. It was sent to me in 2013 because I participated in her Filofax project at the time and she sent this binder to me because that is what I was going to use in the project and I have some videos about the project and I will link it down below but this is how the Filofax Savannah is now it has gotten shiny and darker and stained and I will link the unpacking video of this binder down below so you can see the difference of how it looks when I got it and how it looks now and this trap still is functioning it isn't broken the snap works very well but the leather is cracked which is understandable because it's an old binder and it has been used so so much by me and I'm assuming that before it came to me it has also been used by the previous owner. Now I have set it up in a very basic way I didn't even put any of the credit cards in the credit card holders right there all that I have there is a one by one picture of my son because all of the shopping related cards and credit cards are in this separate Fino binder with the 20 millimeter rings and a video about it is something that I also have and I will link it down below and I use that binder as a wallet so this one can function as an actual planner not as a wallet. I still have the page lifters that came from Tracy Reinhardt and I just want to show you the pared down sections that I have used in this binder and also the dividers that I'm using. I'm using these. These are really just plastic folders that I have cut down to size and I have punched holes in them and then stuck them on the rings and allowed them to function as dividers for me. And I didn't even put labels on the dividers because they're the same order that I have them in all of the binders that I have had for a few years. So I have already memorized the order of this. But just to give you an idea, like for instance, here is the divider for the Chandler section or the section that I have for my son. And then after that would be the to deal with 
section. It, it is actually my brain dump section and all of the things and slips of paper that remind me of the things that I need to do that are not yet on the task lists on the daily pages. And this is the divider for the daily pages. And I even use it as a dashboard, as you can see. And those are the daily pages with the side reminder tabs. And those loose sheets are what I use as blotting papers, although they are not really blotting papers. And this is the section for the monthly pages. And I made those monthly pages myself and printed them onto Moe River paper. And all of 2018 is already on there, but I am going to be making the 2019 monthly pages as well. And then the next one is the section for finances, which I'm not gonna show. And this here is the section for uh, my graduate studies. And I do have to update that list. That is a list of all of the grades that I have gotten. And I have already completed completed all of my coursework. I already have grades for everything and I have already passed my Spanish language comprehension exams. So all that remains really is to write the thesis proposal, defend it, and then write the entire thesis and defend it. And I'm giving myself six months for everything. And here is an extra divider that I have. And then at the back of it is another divider um, that I have. And the peculiar thing about this divider is that because it is a pocket or a folder that has been cut down to size, it also functions as a pocket. As you can see right here, in the absence of a secretarial pocket in this binder, I have used the dividers as a pocket and I will show you later how I did those pockets. And here the last thing in the binder is the other uh, page lifter from Tracy Reinhardt and the binder also has a zippered pocket right here But I'm not using it. The zipper is very very tight It is not very easy to use and it's a very tight space. So I hardly put anything in there And let me show you how I did the dividers. I used these folders and these are very thin transparent sheets of plastic that come like this. They are folded on one side and they are sealed on another side. So there is that corner that I can actually utilize that are sealed on two different sides. And these come in a pack of 10 or 20. These are very, very cheap. And I just used my Fiskars paper trimmer, which I also reviewed, by the way, and I will link the video down below. And as you can see, I have marked my paper trimmer according to the width of the personal size pages, which is 95 millimeters. And I've written it down there with a marker, but I extended a little bit beyond that so that the dividers can be a little bit wider than the actual pages of the contents that are already in my planner and the dividers that I actually have on my previous planner the polka dotted one are wider because the tabs are on the sides instead of at the top so I kind of really liked it that way and I will show you later why but this is really just me cutting down the plastic sheet to size and then I retained the sides that have the fold in it and the one with the seal in it. And as for the height of the um, divider, I just um, retained the original height of the personal size pages, which is 171 millimeters, so that the divider will be the same height as the pages, but wider than the pages. And this is what I ended up with. It is something that is closed on one side and at the bottom, but open on one side and at the top. And the sealed side is on the right, and I can do the hole punching on the left, and the folded side is on the bottom. So after I hole punch the left edge that is open once i pop that into the rings that side will already be well closed for all intents and purposes nothing can probably fall out of there if i put large 
pages or large sheets of paper, but the top of it will be open, so it will be a top loading envelope as well as I am going to demonstrate for you with these um, sheets of paper. As you can see, um, they load pretty easily at the top. So really, that is all that I have in my binder. It's very, very basic. The dividers are very, very thin and unlabeled, and I don't really need to label them. And the reason why I prefer them to be wider is because I like that they protect the side reminder tabs that I have appended to the edge of my daily pages and I do have a video about my side reminder tabs in my channel and I will link it down below and I really like that the edges of the dividers line up with the edges of the side reminder tabs. And this is my extremely pared down planner setup for 2018. I only have the very basic sections on there, the me section with some identifications and then the section for my son and then the section for Jawaid because he's coming home for good on May 1 so there are so many things to plan and then the section for to-dos and then the daily pages and the pages for that are what I am showing you right now in this video and then the section for finances which has almost nothing on it because everything has already been dealt with and for a while, I considered putting in a section for medication because on December 4, which I'm, which you can see me marking down there, I got my, I, I, I saw my doctor and then she put me on a two month medication program for what I had, which I had the biopsy for. And it's okay, it's treatable. It's a long term or a medium term treatment, so it's okay. Um, but, the medication never really changes and I already purchased the entire um, prescription so I don't really need a medication section but I did take a picture of the prescription and stored it in my phone. So I don't have a medication section in here. And then the other section that I have after the daily pages are the monthly pages and then the section for um, like my uh, graduate studies and just that last divider where all of the loose sheets of paper can go. I am still going to be using this Fino binder as a wallet but carrying two very small binders is very very easy for me as you can see both of them fit right into my hand so that's okay I mean like I think I can actually make this work. And the reason why I have pared everything down and I don't even have a YouTube section on this binder right now is because I am going to take a break from my YouTube channel because I need the time to be able to concentrate on writing my actual thesis for my graduate studies. I will still be uploading YouTube videos but it's only going to be once a week, no longer four times a week. For December, I am uploading at the moment three videos a week, but starting in January, that is going to be one video a week only because I'm taking the first quarter, the entire first quarter of 2018 to write my entire um, thesis. So it's going to be a massive massive amount of work that requires all of my uh, attention, energy, and concentration. So yeah, let's see. Of course, I hope I can do it. <laughs> so this is the planner setup that reflects that kind of life that I am planning to have for the first quarter of 2018. After that time, we'll see. Maybe I am going to shift to a bigger binder again because I have always been a big ring binder girl and Jawaid is coming home so there will be more things to do and then I will already be retired from government work but that means I also have more things to do for freelance and for my own um, well activities so we'll see that is going to happen in around May so I am going to have a different planner set up then but for now this is what I'm going to be using for the start of 2018. It feels good honestly to be using this binder again and having 
This binder with the 23 millimeter rings feels so liberating, you guys. It's so light and it's a big, big change for me if you're familiar at all with my planning style. So wish me luck. Let me know what binder and planning system you are going to be using for 2018. Leave me a comment down below and I will talk to you there. And so that's my video for you today. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you catch me again on the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.